Hi, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So I'm going to be switching up my readings a bit. This is going to be um, specifically for relationships you guys are dealing with. So that could be significant other, friends, family, co-workers, spouse, someone you're dating, anyone. We'll see what comes up specifically. But like I said, this will be for the next two weeks coming up, okay? So this is for Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising, and also welcome to all my cross-watchers. Also, if you guys would like to make a uh, schedule a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, my information is located down below in the description box. Also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is located down below as well. And thank you guys so much for everyone that has made a donation. I appreciate that so much. Also, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. I'm enjoying doing these, and I hope that they're bringing you guys a lot of clarity and guidance. So let's go ahead and get started. So the way I'm going to be doing this is um, you guys will have to take whichever resonates with you, but I'm going to have on one side of the reading one person, and then on this side the other person's, okay? So we'll see what comes up. Okay, so Leo, right out the gate, it looks like we've got soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. That's freaking awesome. So let's see what else pulls up. I'm going to put that in the middle here. Okay. So let's see what else pops up for relationship you could be in or dealing with. Yo, that one. Okay, so we've got past life relationships. So, I mean, they're almost all just kind of duplicating. So it definitely looks, it says you have known each other before. So it definitely, <laughs> this connection feels pretty intense. This could be someone that you've met or it could be someone in your relationship with. So there's a definite soul connection here where there's like deep, deep, deep connection, deep connection here. So let's pull out just one more just to clarify this person's side right here. Okay. And we have got children. Okay, um, I pull out a couple different things with this one. There could be children involved, okay? Maybe you guys are in a relationship, you have children together. Maybe you have met someone and they have children. Or the other way that I pull this out is maybe you've met someone where there's this soulmate connection and there's like a difference between you two. Like maybe there's a maturity difference. Maybe they're younger or older. There could be an age gap. So there's definitely a few different ways that I read that card. Because since these are so general and I've got to tap into so many energies, I got to kind of do what I got to do. So we've got the Queen of Wands popping out. So there's definitely a lot of passion here. Leo, this could even be your energy. That's fire energy could be Aries, a fellow Leo, or a Sagittarius that you are dealing with, but definitely there's a lot of passion in this relationship, okay? Here's the Ace of Cups, which is new love, new beginning, like beautiful, beautiful energy. And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So it definitely looks like this relationship there's a lot of stability here, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is like slow and steady wins the race. They're always the one that crosses the finish line because they are the most dedicated. So it looks like this relationship has a lot of really great stability to it, okay? Whether you've just met someone or whether you're in a relationship, maybe you, some of you have this relationship that you're in is like you guys have been through a lot and you might 
like I said, there might be this passion, this new love, but it looks all really beautiful. Let's pull out one more clarifier on this side. Oh, and six of wands. Okay, what in the world? This is like victory. Um, you know what I'm wondering too is maybe, Leo, there's been a distance between you two. Um, interesting. We've got the King of Swords coming out. So, Leo, this could be your side. For my own sanity, that's what I'm going to stick with because of that Queen of Wands. So I'm going to say that that's your energy. You could be involved with an air sign, an, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, male or female here. But it looks like there's like a mental connection for sure. This person is very intelligent and very clear in their communication. Ooh, we've got 10 of pentacles. Man. Okay. This is like amazing. So for some of you, if you've just met this person, this is like a freaking amazing. This is like material fulfillment. This is like stable home life, family life. This could, and I mean, all of this is making sense. This is a soulmate relationship. You could even maybe want to have children with them. Okay. I'm picking that up big time, but it looks all really good. It looks like there will be a lot of stability in this relationship. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just kind of blown away by this whole combination of cards. Um, let's see what else comes up. I'm going to pull up a few more clarifiers. Yep. We've got the nine of pentacles. This seriously can't get any better. This person might be very, uh, might be an entrepreneur. Um, or more just about business. They might be more like independently, uh, financially stable or working on that. And maybe because especially with that, interesting, that 10 of pentacles as well, we've got nine and 10 of pentacles. So maybe what I was picking up before with some of you Leos, maybe someone has been away for a while working on their independence and material fulfillment in the family so that they can create all of this stability with you. Okay. Um, this is freaking amazing. I'm kind of jealous of your reading, Leo. So let's see what else pulls up. This all looks really good though. This connection, it looks like really stable, really positive. I am literally not seeing one red flag pop up. You might be, like I said, wanting to start a family with this person because, like, it's just all there, you know? Like, the connection, everything. For some of you, this even could be in work, you know? Maybe you've started a new job that just is, like, feeling like a soulmate in a way, you know? And you're very victorious because I do see, like, there's these work cards coming up. So for some of you, that could be another thing that's popping out to me. Let me pull out this one last. There we go. Okay, and we've got Justice. Again, I seriously can't say anything else. Like I said, for some of you where I just said this could be a new work environment, there could be some contracts involved. Like maybe you're signing some legal type of paperwork or things. It looks all positive and victorious. There's this new love. Like I said, too, this also could be someone, like I said, you want to start a family with them. So this could be like marriage, uh, signing marriage papers. You know, like, let me just pull out one last one. This is amazing, though, Leo. I, yeah. Amazing reading, honestly. No time to cut that. 
Okay. Okay, and we've got the Two of Wands. To me, with this whole connection, that's kind of like Two of Flames. There could be some independence in this relationship. Like, both of you have gotten stable within yourselves. But this can also be like Two of Flames. So it's like Twin Flame card. So, yeah, with this whole combination, honestly, I, I really can't say anything else. This looks amazing. Like I said, it for those of you Leos, if this could be a job or something, it looks amazingly positive for you guys in this relationship. I mean, it seriously can't get a whole lot better than all of this. It all looks really positive and good. Yeah. We've got teaching and learning is your advice card. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. Honestly, what I'm picking up with this Leo is that things look amazing to me. I would kind of like teach other people. Keep learning, but you could probably teach other people how to get this because everything is looking so good in your life that really other people would benefit to learn how to get to this point in their life, honestly. Like, people need help learning that. So I would keep an open mind to even doing that for other people. Teaching in some ways how to help people, like, find their soulmate. And, and you know, coming to this point of life where you're just feeling really happy and stable. So yeah, Leo, I don't, I can't see anything else that's really good. It's, it all looks amazing for you guys. And yeah, I hope that helped you guys in some way. And I am wishing you guys all the very best. Take care.